hope you're having just as much fun as I am making these organization videos. Today we're gonna focus on board games and I feel like this is a much needed thing for all of us. Now we're here in my game room, this is my ping pong table, and I've pulled out all my games. So the problem that I have with games is that they're all so many different sizes and shapes and they're so hard to stack together in the cupboard and they're always falling and it's like this big game of Tetris or Django where you're trying to like stack them all and pull one out without them all falling. So I came up with a solution that kind of blew my mind and I hope that you guys will be mind blown too. So let's get started. Uh, one of the interesting things I wanted to point out was that a lot of these games, like the pieces are so small or it only comes with a few pieces, but it's really deceiving because they have these big plastic inserts inside the boxes that take up so much wasted real estate in our cupboards. So let me show you how we can take all these boxes and make it into one perfect, beautiful little stack. Look what just came in the mail. All my organizers that I'm gonna use to organize the games. Let me show you how. So I wanted to show you these up close. Do you see how thin these are compared to like, just grab a random game here, like compared to how thick the boxes, they're so tiny. They're like paper thin. And I did actually order a set of thicker ones because there were a couple games that just wouldn't quite fit in here. So that's something to be aware of. Take an inventory of like what games you have and what games you're wanting to consolidate. Now some games won't fit in these, which there actually hasn't been that many. The only two that I found so far um, are Candyland, which by the way, this is like our third Candyland game because it keeps getting broken and our dogs keep chewing up all the cards when my kids leave them out. This is another reason this system I feel like works better. It keeps the pieces together and so the boxes aren't getting like flattened and ruined all the time. Anyway, so the only games that wouldn't fit were Candyland and Risk. So something to be aware of. There may be like a few random games that you still have to keep out, but if you can consolidate the majority of them into these little tiny boxes and be able to stack them all in one cupboard so neatly, it's going to save so much space and I feel like they're easier to find. So let me show you. All right, so you have this like big old box when all that comes with it is this pad, this, and dice. So we're gonna consolidate this box into this little clip plastic thing. And then I'm gonna cut this out and tape it on the inside right here so that you can see it. I'll show you. We'll tape just the flat part on the inside so you can still see what game it is. No sleep, no things run dry, I'm empty. I'm blinded by this concrete And I should call you, see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am alone Now I did the same thing to guess who I just cut out the board um, or the box and I taped it to the front and then I put the pieces in here and then I used my little baggie hack to make a small baggie, which I can show you how to do. And then all the pieces are in here. And then you can see they stack so nicely and look how thin that is. Now these boxes do come in a thicker size, which I think is necessary for certain games like I was looking at this Telestrations game. Now, it doesn't have that many pieces, um, which is kind of ridiculous that they put them in this huge box, but there are so many of these that I felt like it was a little too snug and I didn't want the kids to have to like figure out how to get it in just right to make it close. I wanna make it easy. So anyway, I'll probably order a pack of the slightly thicker ones too and then we will see how many of these we can get cleaned up. Okay, here's a good one. This is one of our favorite games, super fun, but look how thick that box is. And it's really just a bag of dice, um, some of these tiles, 
and four really thin boards. So this game is perfect to consolidate into here. Just kind of flatten the dice and then you can close it right up. And then it's now nice and small. So we're going from that to that. And after you get a whole stack of these, that's a lot of wasted space that you can now use. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope A little piece of the side of the board game to use as a guide against the clear case and then I know exactly how wide I need to cut the top so that it fits perfectly into the case. I had all the games out we thought we would just go ahead and spray this while we had the sprayer out for our master bath so we just went ahead and re-sprayed all this so once we put the shelves back in the games will be all organized and this will be all freshly painted this is another one of our favorite games king of tokyo and it hurts a little to break these boxes that are in really good shape because some of the games were in bad shape so it was so easy to like break them apart and put them in but we love this game we use it a lot and so i really do want it to be protected in one of these plastic cases and fit like really nicely in a stack and plus it's so easy to throw into a suitcase or pack into our car when we travel or go to a friend's house because we do love to play games and it just saves so much more space in the cupboard Organizing bug, uh, chocolate milk, chocolate meat, raspberry pepper jelly, yogurt. Oh, I like that picture. Egg. Did you write ew cheese? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what else. Onion, another ew cheese. And eggy? You wrote eggy? <laughs> yeah. And I messed up on this. That's okay. Okay, you guys don't need to see another close-up of me putting another game in, but I wanted to show you the difference between the small size
size and the big size because the big size just came in. You can kind of see when they go side by side. So this is like the paper thin size and this is a thicker size. So if you have a game that's a little thicker, you get quite a bit more space. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. I literally found a bill in the game board box that needed to be paid, so that was good. But also, maybe it's good to go through games once in a while and declutter even your game board boxes. We don't need no more, even in the I had so much fun going through this board game. Do you remember the game of life? I just have so many fun memories of playing this game and picking how many kids you have, boy and girl, because you get those little people, and then picking your job and wondering when I was an adult, like how much money am I gonna make? What kind of job am I gonna have? So fun to go through all these games and a reminder of all these fun games I need to play with my kids again. Settlers of Catan is one of our favorites and we have both versions, Cities and Night and Settlers. So it was great to combine them into one box. Okay, so we got a lot of games consolidated. I just need to cut these last tops out of these boxes and this one I will definitely just combine and then we can organize them all back into the shelf I cannot believe how much board game cupboard real estate we got back and just how much easier this is gonna be so I'm excited I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done and then I decided to burn a bunch of the boxes so that I don't have to have as much waste in the trash so currently burning the remnants of all the games <laughs> so feels good to get that out of the way and done what do you guys think huh so much better right you guys want a book i did organize their little dog door but it definitely could be better <laughs> their clothes are supposed to be in here um, I need to find a better system. Let's see, which kind do you guys want today? How about one of these? Let's take a look at the before and how messy all the games were and an after. Look how much tidier. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope this inspired you to organize an area in your home. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video.